I'm Yasuharo Morita, a quiet guy who doesn't stand out at school. I'm in my second year of high school and I don't have many friends, but I'm quite happy with my school life. There's still time. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Good morning, class president. Yeah, good morning. Wow, I just passed someone who represents the word stand out. Shinomi Saika. She's the student council president of this school and a perfect superhuman who's smart and good looking. Not only does she have brains and good looks, but she's the head of the judo club and has competed in national tournaments as a sophomore. Well, she's not the type of person I'd have anything to do with. We're in the same grade, but we've never been in the same class. That's what I thought. The next day, got nothing to do. Let's go buy something to drink. Everyone was talking about how they changed the drinks in the vending machine near the cafeteria. I have time. Let's go there and see. Uh, she know Nomi san and some punkish guy are talking. I don't want to get involved. Let's go back and go to the other vending machine. You're so annoyed all the time! That's because you break the school rules every time. You're so clingy! Isn't the discipline committee supposed to tell you what to wear in the first place? You're a class president, so it's none of your business! It is. It's the student council's job to maintain order on campus. Shut your mouth already! You're a sophomore, ain't ya? How quirky! That's besides the point! I wouldn't let you off the hook for breaking the rules even if you were a senior! Mm, this isn't gonna end well for either of them. I don't really want to get involved, but... That's enough! Let's stop! No more fighting! Who are you? If you have nothing to do with this, stay out of it! I'm with you on this one. You, stay out of this. You've been arguing, but you two agree on that? You two need to calm down. And if you make too much noise, the teachers will come. I don't mind if the teacher comes, since I'm not wrong. I don't mind if the teacher comes either. I'm not scared at all. This is a hassle. I don't have a choice. Sorry, senpai. Wait, what are you doing? I just thought I'd pull you away since you don't seem to be able to get along. Why are you holding me like a princess? You weirdo! Think about it calmly. If I suddenly lifted up Shinonomi-san up, it would be sexual harassment. Besides, it's faster to move this way than to pull you by the arm. I wouldn't want to pull you as hard as you can and dislocate your hand or something. No, and that's not the point! I'm 80 kilograms to begin with! How can you carry me so easily? Yeah, it's just a coincidence. I was desperate, so I have more strength than usual. No, that's impossible! Well, don't worry about the details. What class are you in? If you want, I can carry you to class. No, don't do that! It's embarrassing! In the end, my senpai was more surprised that I lifted him up than for interrupting their arguments and didn't come at me. At any rate, he didn't complain, but I wonder if Shinonome-san was angry. I didn't look at Shinonome-san because I carried him away without saying anything. I hope it's nothing. Is Murata here? Jeez, she's here. Ah, Murata, there you are. Did I tell Shinonome-san my name in class? I know all the students' names and classes. Why? I'm the class president. This is normal. No, I don't think there's been anyone like that before or since. Is that so? Well, that's good, because that's how I found you. Huh? Well, this is not good for me at all, though. So, what do you want from me? Yeah, I was wondering why you did what you did. I just happened to pass by and thought I'd intervene. I see. Intervening by carrying like a princess. Looks like I was undermined. Sorry, I can think of another way. Carry like a princess? He did that to that demon of a class president? You're a dull guy, but you did something I envy. Oh no, it's turning into a weird rumor. No, that's a misunderstanding. You're talking to me now. I'll have to stop talking to other people. Ugh, I can't get to clear the class's misunderstandings. I need to end this conversation quickly and stop the class from spreading rumors. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm gonna go get a drink so we can finish this conversation. Okay, then that's all for now. What? She backed down surprisingly easily. 
Duel me after school today. Duel? Yeah, we'll settle it then. No, why does it come to that? You intervened because you thought I was gonna lose to that guy, didn't you? So, I thought I'd show you my strength. No, I know you're strong enough. You were in the National Judo Tournament, right? Huh, you know your stuff. You were awarded at the morning assembly, too, so I don't think there's anyone in this school who doesn't know about you. Well, you seem very confident if you knew about that and still intervened. No, that wasn't my intention. Don't say anything. Let's hear what you have to say in the duel. Ugh, false rumors spread quickly throughout the school that I'd carried the class president like a princess. Oh, there you are. There's a terrible rumor going around because of you, Shinonomi-san. It's mostly true, so don't worry about it. Anyways, the duel. Huh? I don't have a choice. So how are we dueling? Let's make it a three-minute match using the general rules of judo. I'm an experienced fighter. If I get an Ippon, you lose. If you keep running, it's still a warning, but this time we can play without that. Any other suggestions for additional handicaps? No, I don't have a proposal, but... What's up? You're getting all brusque. No, I'm just wondering if those rules are too advantageous to me. Advantageous? I guess you have me pegged for a loser after all. Well, if that's what you want, then let's get on with it. I'll lend you the men's judo wear. In case you haven't noticed, I hate people who don't fight for real. Give it your all. Huh, all right. Judo is Shinonome-san's specialty, and it would be rude not to take it seriously. I have to make sure she doesn't get hurt, though. Let's go. Oh, as expected. But she told me to be serious. I have no choice. Take the fall well. What are you talking about? What? I guess that's it. No way. That easily? There's no judge, so it's a mutual decision. I think I'll take that one now. Yeah, of course. After saying that, Shinonome-san fell into a daze. She must be really devastated. Shinonome-san, we're of different ranks and genders, so I don't think you should worry about it. I yeah, maybe you're right, but it's my complete defeat by all accounts. You do what you want. Wait, did we make a promise like that? Because I was going to demand an apology from you if I won. And if I lose, I'll have to pay a fair price. You sound like a samurai. Oh, I'm in trouble. There's nothing I want to do to you. Do you have no desire? You're that strong, and yet you don't seem to want to brag about it. I don't. I mean, if I can live peacefully, that's good enough for me. Besides, my parents would be angry if I use violence to get rid of problems. Your parents? Are they that scary? Yeah, I have a mother who's the strongest primate in the world, and a father who's a hammer thrower with the back strength of a gorilla. Strongest primate? Your mother's the woman's wrestling legend? Yeah, that's right. So, my mother put me through Spartan training from a young age, so I have a fear. I see. I think I understand why you're so strong. So, have you decided what you want me to do? I tried to change the subject, but I guess you still remembered. Oh, then I'd like you to correct the false rumor that I carried you in my arms. I don't have many friends and I can't stop it by myself. Is that what you want? I'm fine with it if that's okay with you. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Oh, by the way, will you be my boyfriend? What? What did you just say? You're so mean. I said it so casually because it's embarrassing. I asked you to go out with me. What are you talking about, out of the blue? Don't be so surprised. I fell for you. No, that is surprising. I've never been in your class or talked to you before, Shinonomi-san. Yeah, it's not love at first sight, but love at first fight. Love at first sight? Yeah, because the duel we had was just so amazing. My heart and soul have conceded defeat to you. I'm so in love with you that I want to have children with you. Oh, by the way, how many kids do you want? Oh no, Shinonomi-san's getting out of control. Shinonomi-san, calm down. It's a misunderstanding, I'm sure of it. 
You're a popular girl, and there has to be someone better than me. No, there's no one but you. Do you know why I kept turning down confessions until now? No, I have no idea. Because I like men who are stronger and nicer than I am. That's your condition for a lover? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just like girls who like good-looking, muscular guys. Yeah, but... Right? But you can answer me anytime you want. No, uh, I will now. Well, I'm glad you're making such quick decisions. I'm sorry. Why? It's funny to say this, but I've always prided myself on having a reasonably good looks and figure. I won't tell her, but I think she's definitely the best in her grade. That's why, like I said, I don't want to stand out. I see. But I'm not going to give up, so be prepared. Well, goodbye. Oh, and don't worry. I'll take care of the rumors. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that settles the rumors for now. I'm sure she's just imagining that she likes me. The next day... Hey, Morita! I heard that rumor! Oh, did Shinonami-san correct those rumors already? What did you do to Shinonami-san? Wait, what are you talking about? There's a rumor going around school that Shinonami-san was completely defeated by you, body and soul. What did you do in that duel? No, that's... I ended up having a hard time during morning recess because of all the questions from the class. Shinonami-san! What's with that rumor? Oh, I didn't think you'd come see me. The misunderstood rumor is gone, isn't it? Well, yeah, but there's a more outrageous rumor going around. Oh, the rumor that I've been utterly defeated by you? That's not a problem because it's true. It's true, but... Right. It's best to erase lies with facts. No, it's more talked about than before, so it was pointless. Oh, my peaceful school life is over. Then Shinonomi-san started coming to visit me in my classroom every day. Marota, I made some sweets. Will you have some? Thanks, but aren't you standing out too much? Standing out? I only brought you sweets. She doesn't know she's the one that stands out. A different day. Marota, I don't have judo club or student council today. Do you want to hang out with me? No, no I've got makeup class today. Liar. You have good grades, don't you? How do you know that? The top 50 are always posted, right? You're always in the top 40 or so. Oh, you're very observant. Yeah. There's nothing I don't know about school. That's the student body president. At this rate, I'll be the center of attention in class every recess. Before I knew it, rumors are spreading that Shinonomi-san and I are dating, so it's all or nothing. Shinonomi-san, how about we compete in the next test? Like in a duel, the winner gets to say one thing. I'll win this and get her to stop coming during recess. I don't mind, but don't you know my academic ability? Of course, I know you're in first place every time. But that doesn't mean you're gonna come in first in the next test. Oh, so if I win, you'll accept my last confession? Yeah, and if I win, you can stop coming to my classroom every recess. Yeah, I'll take those terms. Okay, now I'll have some peace and quiet at recess. I'll take the next test seriously. After the test in which we both studied hard, the list of the top students were posted in the hallway as usual. Okay, I got a perfect score! You know, Nome san will be quiet now. Marota, did you see the test results posted? No, I didn't, but I won, didn't I? I got a perfect score! It's a tie. I got a perfect score, too. What? You always came in first but never got a perfect score. I studied twice as hard as usual this time. I was more surprised, if anything. I didn't know you were that smart when you put your mind to it. You're making me fall in love with you more. Ugh, I had the opposite effect. So I have a suggestion. Since it was a tie, why don't we run both bets? What? Both? Yeah. How about in exchange for being my boyfriend? I won't go to class during recess. No, that doesn't make sense. You're really hard to get, aren't you? Then I'll let you go out with me some other time. But on the other hand, you didn't win either. So from now on, you can't complain if I come see you every recess like I always have. Uh, you're right. 
Then, for the next test, I'll not only ask you to be my boyfriend, but I'll ask you to be the secretary of the student council. What, another game? I'll never lose to Shinonomi-san in terms of physical strength, but the day I lose to her in terms of pushiness and end up going out with her may be coming soon. <laughs>